morning. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so sorry about that. I don't know what happened, but it was streaming, but the camera was just this tiny little, it was my profile picture. It was really weird. All right. Let me back home live. No, that's not it. Guys, I'm so confused right now. Am I live or what? I think I am. It seems awfully dark, though. Oh my goodness. I need another coffee already. And I don't see it on the live here. All right, here we go. Video unavailable. No, all right, here it is. Hi, Tara. Yeah, finally. Oh my God, my morning. I'm like so stressed because Dominic's friend Aiden came over yesterday. You know who he is. He's the one with the issues or whatever. And I decided, like, it took them, they get out of school at two. It takes them an hour to walk here. So they get home at three. So when they got home, I went in the bedroom and I just let them like have the living room and the kitchen and the dining area, whatever. And I just shut the door and I took a nap. And now don't you know, my remote is missing for my TV with the fire stick. I found the back of it, but not the rest of it. So I'm a little irritated. I can't put the TV on. I wonder if I could control it with my phone. I'm sure I could because I can play stuff from my phone to the TV, but not while I'm recording, you know. So good morning. I don't know what the heck happened before. We're going to do a Luxie Manny today. I still have to pop off. I did this Manny last night. Why does it seem so dark? Oh, it's a color my world. Dips, Manny. I had bought this color. It's called, um, is it Leave Me Alone? I'll tell ya. Leaf Pile. I'm sorry. It's called Leaf Pile. And it's a foil dip. It's got that gorgeous green. And my green doesn't match it. It's not the right shade, but at the time I didn't care. I don't really... This is almost like a teal, and I didn't want to use teal. I wanted to use like a fall green, so that's why I went with um, this green shimmer. It's called Mistletoe from Color My World Dips. I think that was... Nope, it wasn't. I was going to say I thought it was part of uh, an advent calendar, but it was not. So I still have to pop off, but I'm feeling the greens, so we're going to do greens today. And we're going to stamp. So we're going to use these two Luxie Now Fall releases, Manzanella Olive, such a gorgeous green, and Basalt Peridot. Look at the colors in there. Where am I? I can't even like see myself in the camera. Are you sure? Oh, wait, there it is. Okay. I see it. I wonder if my, hold on, I want to see if my brightness is down or something. If I can do it. So well, let me check the brightness. Yeah, it's wicked low. Come on, go up. There we go. All right. I should be able to see better now. Oh my God, let's go. So many notifications. <sighs> All right. Sorry about that. So, because I haven't even photographed this Manny yet, it looks brighter now. Um, I'm going to pop off the Manny we did on yesterday's live, which is the Cosmic Nails BBB, which is releasing, sorry about that, tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central Time. Super cute. I think this is a must-have uh, 
BBB. Just for the female the pieces. <laughs> oh, I got like black all around my nail. And under it. Let's see how this wrap comes off because remember yesterday I messed it up and I had to redo it. Oh, see, I wasn't sure if the peel base was still going to work well, but yeah, it's coming off easily. Yay. How are you today? Hi, Patty. How are you ladies today? Patty, you should have saw me when I first went live. It was just showing like, like my view of my phone. It was weird. But I already deleted it. <laughs> All right. Just get the rest of this wrap off over here. I want to try and save this nail. Oh, it's going to break. Oh, one of the bats came off. Oh, well. Oh, there's black dip up in my cuticles. Got to get it out. It's a one downside of uh, working with black, right? Patty, my kid, yesterday, I don't know, him and Aiden, all of a sudden my remote, I didn't notice until I went looking for it just a little bit ago, but it's gone. I found the back of it on the, under the couch cushion, but the rest of the remote is nowhere to be found. I just want to yell at Dominic right now. Like, it's not even his to begin with. He uses it for a different TV, not for this, the TV that I use it for. He uses it for other TVs because they broke or lost the remotes for the other TV. You know what I mean? So I'm like, when you use it, that's fine, but you have to put dining room table that was the agreement and now he never puts it back at first he was doing it but see now I'm having, having to hunt it down and I can't even find it so yeah I'm mad um he did <laughs> see if we can get this glitter dip off this glitter, by the way, I noticed this morning when I went into the bathroom, it glows in the dark. <laughs> so that's an extra bonus. I might need to pull out my e-file, guys. I think I'm going to save this little piece of the nail. <laughs> Some drill bits in here. The one I like to use to remove dip, like just at the sidewall so I can pop off, is this um, tornado bit. I think it's either fine or medium grit. And this one just so happens to be from iGel Beauty, but you can get them off Amazon or wherever. I'm going to put it at 10 and I'm going to put it in forward motion. I'm working on my left hand and I'm right-handed. So I have the drill spinning away from me right now. Otherwise, if I had it spinning towards me, it'd be eating up my finger.
Right, I'm just looking to get a little clear patch so we can pop these off. When you're working with light colors such as this or pale glitters, sometimes it can be hard to see the difference between where the dip ends and your nail begins. So just, I say, just go slow and gentle. Take your time doing it. Better to be easy and uh, remove a little bit at a time than go too heavy with the drill and um, <clears throat> deform your nail, dent it, or something like that, which I've done before, you know. All right. But I've gotten a lot better <laughs> over the years. There we go. I do have a lot of gel under here. A piece under here. It's not coming out. Look at all that black under my finger now. It's all dip. Okay, and this last one. Patty, how was your breakfast, by the way? Still a little bit black up there. I think I got it. All right, pretty good. Dominic wants to go trick-or-treating this year. He's planning on it. He wants to go with his friends again. Like last year. We went too. But usually we go with my sister-in-law and nephews. And last year he wanted to go with his friends. It was like kind of awkward having to tell them that, you know. But they understood. He's at, you know that age, I guess. Mm, looks a little better underneath. <laughs> okay, let's put that away. We can put the drill away. Just gonna file up these nails real quick. Who's here? Let's see. 40s this morning? Yeah. Yeah, it was freezing here this morning, too. Even now, I got a sweater on, because it's the temperature drops all night. We still have the ACs in because it's gonna be in the it's gonna be like in the seventies um, coming up next week. Today's supposed to be, I think, in the high sixties. Nick said it, it, he read this morning that it was gonna get up to seventy one. So we'll see. Should be awesome. I'll open the windows if it gets up there. But yeah, so it cools down all night. So by the time the morning comes, it's like 60, if that, in the apartment, you know. We're not going to turn on the heat yet. But usually I have to put it on in October. Dominic's already back to doing that thing of he's trying to get out of going to school every day. He's not getting out of it, you know, but it's like, come on, dude. 
why we got to do the same thing every day so it gets down to it that he has to rush 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 you know what i mean like two days in a row one day he missed the bus and then the next day he had to run to get to the bus and the bus driver said something to him so it's like you know what i mean you don't want to keep doing that learn your lesson dude so then I'm wake, trying to wake him up multiple times. And it's like, come on, you got to get up. You have 20 minutes or 15 minutes. And then Nick wakes up. He's still sleeping. He doesn't have to get up yet, but because of the yelling. So then he's like, he gets up and he's like, get the fuck up or get up or whatever, you know. Or sometimes, depending on his mood, come on, buddy, you got to get up. You know, and, and he, we made a deal. There was a game he wanted. And if we bought it, he was not to give me a hard time in the mornings. That lasted like two days. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let him use it anymore until he starts putting it back. And when he gets home, he's gotta find it for me too, Tara. Hi, Michelle. Nineties spray bottle his face. Take the game away. Yeah, it's on uh, his switch. It was one of those games you download. But yeah, he's going to have to help me find the remote when he gets home. And it's going back on the table. Michelle, I'm running a little behind today. I wasn't popped off because my kid lost my remote, so I can't put the TV on. Plus, when I went live, it was super weird. So, all right. Let's put peel base on. Going to do a Lexi nail mani, Michelle. Going to use manzanella olive and basalt peridot today. Oh, and I'm going to do one nude nail and we're going to stamp on it. I have no idea what. I have lots of options. Like, lots of options. I have a few that are sticking out to me. Plus, I have this book that's full. Um, we'll see. But I have this green stamping polish and I feel like I have to use it, you know, because it's such a good match. So we'll do one nude nail, the ring finger, and, um, I'm sorry, it's itchy, and, um, stamp on that. Okay. Peel base time. How's everybody doing today? I know Tara is freezing. It's in the 40s. I don't think it was that cold here this morning, maybe 50. Dominic refused to wear a hoodie. This kid will not wear a hoodie. And his fall jacket from last year doesn't fit him anymore. So it's hoodie it up or freeze your butt off. But he's wearing pants and like short sleeve shirts to school right now, you know. And he's this kid. This kid will not, he doesn't like wearing new clothes. First off, I have to wash them all. But he has to own them for months before he'll even first wear them. When I was a kid, heck, still now, when I get new to clothes, I can't wait to wear them. You know what I mean? Or new shoes or whatever. Him? Nope. He finally just started wearing his new sneakers that he got before school started. Yeah, the hoodie. It's like a staple of the American teenager. And this kid won't even try one. Try to explain to him, like, how comfortable they are, how everybody wears them, how you can take it off if you get warm. You know what I mean? All the advantages. It's got a hood. It's got big pockets. They're comfortable, you know? Sometimes that he's not into fashion at all. He cares kind of about how he looks like that. His hair is combed and stuff, you know, but his hands and face are clean. 
But that's about it. I pick out his clothes in the morning. And if he doesn't want to wear it, he tells me. And then I yell at him and then I go get him something else. <laughs> the whole thing was he fell asleep early last night. So he got plenty of sleep. He was mad this morning that he fell asleep so early and now he's waking up and having to get ready to go to school. I'm like, well, if you get up now, you'll have some time to watch some videos and stuff. You know what I mean? But no, he stayed laying there until 6.10, 6.15. The bus comes at 6.45. I love hoodies too, Michelle. Really, Tara? Well, when Dominic was small, when I got to dress him, when he was an infant and toddler, he looked awesome all the time. He had the coolest onesies. He had one that said, this is how I roll with a picture of a stroller. He had one that said, uh... You might not think I'm the boss, but who, who's wiping whose ass? Something like that. I saved that one. Um, uh, he had one that said Rockstar, and it had, uh, like, um, an electric guitar on it, and it was black and silver. It was wicked cool. I used to put him in that with black and uh, gray camo shorts. Um, he just had, his clothes were awesome. His hair was always so cute. And I, let me show you this picture of him. One of my favorite pictures. It's the bottom photo. But they say it was all spiked up, right? It was out in the yard. I like piled up leaves for him to jump in. This is me and Nick and Dominic when I had him Can you at the hospital. And this is Nick's grandfather, Nick's grandmother, and Dominic. He's passed away, but she's still alive. That was um his second Halloween, so he was one. All right, let me hang this back up. But he was such a cute baby. Oh, my God. He really was. I know I'm probably biased, but blonde hair, blue eyes, smiles, little dimples like his daddy. He's just so handsome. Now we, now we don't even smile for pictures. <laughs> right? Right? When he let me do things for him, like do his hair, because we had a routine, you know what I mean? We get up in the morning, of course, I would change his diaper. Then we go out in the kitchen, we'd have breakfast. Then I'd clean his face or whatever. Then I'd take him into our room and, well, then he'd have a bath. I would give him a bath and then um, dress him, comb his hair. Well, no, I would give him a bath, lotion. You know, like, uh, I can't think of the brand. What's that brand that we all use? Baby lotion. They come in all different scents, but I used to like the lavender vanilla. Anyway, not loves baby lotion, but what's it called, you guys? I can't think of it. Anyway. Yeah, so I'd put the lotion on them and everything, comb to put his little outfits on and they always match. And I lived right near the Providence Place Mall at the time. So I would go and just buy stuff on sale. So like I'd be getting his clothes at JC Penny at um a lot of like good name brand stores, you know what I mean? Jimbury was there, the children's place, of course. We still get from the children's place, but he's outgrowing it now. They only go up to size sixteen. Um yeah, so I miss those days. You know what I mean? 
Johnson and Johnson. Thank you, Patty. Yes. That's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> Michelle, you said you're not going to have kids, right? Or you're not planning to? If you're not, I don't blame you. Patty and I were talking about it and state of the way things are in the world, you know what I mean? Who, like, it's a tough decision. <clears throat> But there's always adoption. If you get that urge. Still got black. Oh, good. It came out. Sorry, I did a, you know, a bunch of black nails yesterday. So I got stuff still stuck around. Around the edges. And stuck in the gel underneath here, too. All right. Oh, I think we're dry. Okay, Michelle, did you see what we're using? Oh yeah, I showed you. Manzanella olive, basalt peridot, and then a, a nude nail with some stamping. So let's do the nude nail first. I'm gonna use Afterglow from Rebel. Stir, get my Lexi Precision Tool. Probably no kids. Well, you never know. I could totally see you guys adopting sometime in the future. You guys seem like you have a lot of love between you. And I bet that translates to a lot of love to give, you know. And if there's somebody who's already brought a child into the world, then... I don't know. No pressure, though. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm getting personal. I don't mean to be. But that would be super exciting. <laughs> All right. So, you guys, I was totally planning on the live tomorrow to do... My Manny Crush collab, Manny. But I'm going walking with Fran and then I'm doing her nails. So what I'm going to do is go live later on when I get home. I don't know what time that will be, but I'll put a message like in um, Dip Goddesses. I'll message Patty and then I'll leave a note. You know how you can leave a note in, you know, in chats or whatever. Um, so I'll put it in there. But it, I would look for it to be late afternoon, probably. And I am doing the phalanges, Manny. Um, recreating Michelle's, but a little different. Michelle, did you do black phalanges? Black stickers? I have silver ones. So I'm going to use silver, and I think I'm going to do it on black nails. Hi, Brandis. You did it on black? Okay. <clears throat> they just want to give it to each other. Oh, why? What do you got going on tomorrow, Michelle? Well, I'm still going to go live later on at some point. I'll show you the ones I have. I think I might have put them in this book. I have to take a look. I have to take a look. 
in my book. All right. Oh, I got these ones. I think these glow in the dark. They're white ones. If you can see those. But I know I have some silver ones from Cosmic somewhere. Hmm. Okay. They might be in the drawer. Hmm. They must be. Yeah, they are. I'm pretty sure those don't glow in the dark, bro. Oy. But those are really cool, so... They're actually scraps. But there's plenty in there. Okay. Put those back. Yeah, so I was thinking of doing the silver, you know, just to be a little different from you. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Where are you guys staying, Michelle? Lucky. Ah, to be young and in love. <laughs> A little dip on my skin here, but I guess I'll just file it off after. All right, Brandis, I'm doing a Luxie Manny. I'm using manzanella olive and basalt peridot. And afterglow from um, Revel, and I'm going to stamp on that now. So I'm going to do manzanella olive on my thumb and pinky and the glitter on my index and middle. I love this green. This is an awesome green. If you don't have it, you need it. And don't forget, you can save that Lexi now with code Tower15. You can also use code BEDAZZLED to save. I have no more orders, you guys. So Rebels hounding me with their text messages and their emails about all their Halloween throwback dips and all their other dips. So finally, I go to the webpage and I see like a couple dips that I would like. But the one dip I want the most, Haunted House, sold out. Sold out singly, sold out in pick three, sold out in the collection. Like, what the hell? At the same time, I get a message from Kate from Revel now, noticing I've been browsing. Is there anything she can help me with? I'm like, yeah, I was hoping to get Haunted House <laughs> with a cry face. <laughs> okay. Pour over on our thumb here. So, Brandish, you said you're going to do an early live on Friday. Tell me more. <clears throat> what time? Because if it's early, I could make it. Oh, although I was going to go live tomorrow. Late at, well, if it's going to interfere with yours, I won't go live. Because it's not a big deal if I go live or not.
I naturally too. It was hypnotic dips or, and it's in a bag, I'm assuming, right? Now that you say that, I think I used it. You have such a good memory compared to me. <laughs> All right, let's pour out the rest of this dip for our second layer. You, you, of course, don't have to lay flat if you want to pour over or dip into a jar. Um, whatever you're comfortable with that you get good results from is what I say you should do. <laughs> This looks good. I'm sorry, my memory is so poor. Brandish, you too, with your memory. This color is so cool. So this precision tool is just to go around um, the edge of your nail and it will remove any dip. It works well. I actually missed a little spot. So the something like this is a must have. You don't have to go out and buy a precision tool like this if you, you know, don't want to. You can use a an orange wood stick, you know, a cuticle stick, or even a toothpick. Um, anything with a uh, pointed edge will uh, suffice. Okay, so there's two layers of manzanella olive. We're going to move on to the glitter and... Um, Put that on the index nail and the middle nail. The salt peridot. And looking into this jar, I see blue, green, and gold. But overwhelmingly on the um, swatch is green, you know. Um, you can still see the blue, but so gorgeous. This whole collection is gorgeous. I've kind of just been going through them one by one, matching them up and using them. <laughs> I was originally going to do a color block today with the glitter and the solid, but... When I saw that stamping polish, I was like, oh, I think it's meant to be. I think I have to stamp. Okay, so I like to pour over, which I've done this whole mani, if you haven't noticed. Pour over for the first layer, and then, and I do that with, um, fine glitters, chunky glitters, um, hold on, something's loose in here, there we go. Foils, just about everything, uh, you'll see me, um, pour over for the first layer. Occasionally, I'll lay flat for both layers, just depending on the kind of dip it is, or sometimes depending on the amount of dip I have. If I have a small quantity, 
then, you know, it might not be feasible to dip into the jar, might not even be enough to really uh, pour over multiple nails. So then I would just pour it out into a cupcake liner and uh, lay into that. So pretty. I've been feeling the greens lately, you guys. This basalt peridot is a little bit similar to um, Revel's September, August dips. The green with the, um, the green solid with the teal and gold. Ah, uh, glitter. Similar. I see similarities. I think this is more gold, though. More green, you know. There we go. Let's lay flat. Because this is a fine glitter, there's no need to press down uh, with a plastic bag or anything. Fine glitters lay really flat, so they're easy to work with. Okay, let's do dip number two here. So quiet without my TV in the background. And we must have had about 50 like pixie sticks my niece Mackenzie gave us. Dominic gave them all to Aiden. So when I was looking and he took them home with them, plus they were like some wrappers that were eaten. So when I was looking for the remote, I was looking in the couch cushions and I found so many wrappers, pixie stick wrappers, you know. And Dominic, I know it's not Dominic because he doesn't even eat pixie stick. He's not, a, he, he likes chocolate, but he doesn't like other stuff like that. Occasionally he might have like <clears throat> Sour Patch Kids or something. He likes, um, like trolley gummies. Trolleys is the brand. Okay, so this is what we got so far. We are going to encapsulate the nails next. Did you, Michelle? What'd you use? Hi, Janet. I know, Michelle. I was going to say, I figure that's probably what affects my memory. <laughs> oh, I already got some clear out. Janet, I'm doing a Lexi nail mani. And we're going to stamp on the ring finger with this green that screams <laughs> to be stamped with this mani. I could do plaid, you guys. I could do a French. <clears throat> I got a, some sweater nail plates, but the sweater nail designs are more like Christmas designs than um, like any old design. I don't know. We'll go through the plates and you guys can tell me what you think. Ooh, Excalibur. That's the blue and green glitter. Right? Yeah, isn't that a pretty one? This is called um, Basalt Peridot is the glitter. 
Janet and the this green. I know it's awesome. It's manzanella olive. I used it once already. Like on one nail in a mani, I think. Come on, son. I know you want to come out. Mm. I'm going to do all the solid nails first. I might even use my glitter clear on my uh, glitter nails just to Reduce contamination risk. Looks good. Yeah, let's use my glitter clear. It's a huge jar. <laughs> and yes, I did break out a new set of dip liquids because I had spilled my activator too, so I just took out all new dip liquids. I won't be buying this brand again, but I had already bought it, so I'm going to use it. Ah, all right. Very nice. Yeah, that's gorgeous. A gorgeous dip. Can't wait to see Michelle. I don't have, hey, Michelle, would you do me a favor? Could you send me, uh, text me a picture of your Manny with the phalange so I can include it in my post? Because I can't save the picture like from an Instagram post. Oops, an extra glitter got in there. All right. Gotta be careful about glitters that don't belong if they're big. All right, that's it. If not, no big deal. I'll just um refer people to your Manny. Off to school, you bringing them? Okay, Brandis. We'll probably still be here when you get back. Because <laughs> I'm stamping. Okay, let's activate. You see, I'm putting a couple layers just to make sure. Oh, crap. There's a glitter that doesn't belong here. All right. I think I got it. I got it. Okay, there we 
go. After activating, you gotta wait a couple minutes uh, for the nails to cure. This is what they are looking like right now. See? And then some, um, you can look, I, I was kind of leaning towards a, uh, French. I don't want to do Halloween. So, but there's a couple French here. We got the double French lines. Those I think might look kind of cool on it, you know, in the green. Um... I don't really know what some of these other ones are for. I mean, these ones I know, but why are there five in a row and five in a row here? <clears throat> I don't understand that. I used this one in a Dipnotic Manny that didn't get that many likes. I was surprised because I really loved that Manny. Um, I pulled this plate out because I thought... This image was pretty. This is another French plate here. Um, but this one is like kind of weird. <laughs> Let's put that at the bottom. I have some leaves here, which I thought would work well too. But... I don't want tons of green on there. Like, I want some green, but not tons. And actually, these are layered leaves here. But up here, we have, like, this one. That might look cute. Can you guys see the image? Or those leaves. Or those ones. So those are all possibilities, I think. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I think all of those are possibilities. And then some of these are just um, individual. Stamps and not layered stamps down here. So that's a possibility. And then I have a plaid plate. The only thing is all these images are too short for my nail. Um, so if I would use this, I would have to line up a second row at near the free edge of the nail. There's this plaid image here and some other rando images. Here's some more plaid ones. Again, um, these are the longest plaid ones I have. Like this one would work, I think. So that's an option. Let's leave that out. This has some more plaid, um, plaid images. And I remember I, it wasn't long enough for my nail. I had to match up. So let's move that up to the side. My marble plate. I've gotten so much use out of that plate. This has different fall vegetables. It's a layering plate. Um, but I don't think I'm going to use that. This one has different floral images, but I kind of really liked these flowers that are on the side of the heart. So I thought maybe, but maybe not. I mean, we got to narrow it down. I got five plates already narrowed down. This one um, has different floral images. Um, that one's kind of cool with the stripes. Uh, we got snake, snake skin images. I don't know that that will go great with, uh, what we got on today. And then these are Halloween plates, so they shouldn't even be here. 
or that. All right. So we're coming down to plaid leaves. Oh, I have another. I, there was two in here that I thought were possibilities. Um, this place just, just has lots of random designs, but they're long. I think they fit my nail. And this is a sweater nail plate. Um, which I thought about doing. Maybe we'll try the sweater now, plate. But instead of doing an obvious Christmas image, maybe we'll do something like this, where every, I don't know, something like that, maybe. Of course, I would have to stamp it twice for length. All right, what are your thoughts on these, you guys? Oh, this is my other Halloween plate. So I think I got it narrowed down to a French. some falling leaves like as a full nail image we'll have to do it stamp it twice I think I should skip the plaid because I've done a couple plaid lately sweater now All right, guys, one of these. Thoughts? Oh, you dropped him off? Oh, 12.30 pickup today. Oh, wow. Oh, he's getting braced. new braces? Manzanella olive and basalt peridot from Luxie Nail Janet. And the nude is from Revel. It's Afterglow. Do you guys think I should do stamp a sweater nail, French nail? Or uh, falling leaves. We have time to talk about it. <laughs> I got a file. Aren't they pretty, Janet? No, I'm not rushing Christmas. I'm not putting a Christmas image. Sweater nails are for fall, too. Because of sweaters. So I wouldn't use, like... This one with the reindeer, you know what I mean? I was thinking of using, like, this or this or this. One of these types. If you can see this. You got a busy day, Brandis, huh? Ever since my niece gave me this Keurig single serve coffee thing, I have been drinking. Well, it's only been two days, but 
guys, I've been drinking like six cups of coffee a day. Granted, I'm putting them in these little mugs, you know what I mean? So they are small. Gets cold so fast, though. You feeling burned out? Well, just look at things like this. Tomorrow's Friday. Yay. I'm hoping to go apple picking this weekend and go to the corn maze and to the hayride. They give free hayrides up to the apple trees. And there's other things you can do, activities for the kids, like launch apples at like targets and I don't know. The corn maze is probably Dominic's favorite part and picking the apples, but it's so freaking expensive just for, for the bag, you know what I mean? Um, but I guess you're paying for the experience. It might be late in the season, but last weekend it rained all weekend. I'm wondering if they're going to have any apples left. But it said apple picking, and, like, they're open through, like, October 22nd. You love your Keurig? Oh, I had a migraine. Yeah, I remember you saying that, Michelle, about the French press. I have a French press ice coffee machine that I got for free. I've never used it though. I figured I'd use it over the, we'd use it over the summer, but we never did. Come on. Yeah, my neighbor talking through the hallway, through the door, through the walls. <laughs> I just want to make sure this is smooth. Today I'm remembering to buff my nails. <laughs> the Manny still came out okay yesterday. <laughs> You guys have anything planned for the weekend? Who are you talking, Tara? Who? Me? If me, no, I didn't. Didn't even come up in my messages. These are already pretty smooth, but I do like my nails extra smooth, so we're just going over it real quick. Plus, my middle nail is, besides my thumb, it's the biggest, widest nail. 
So let's try and keep it as narrow on the sides as I can get it. I've tried with Michelle, I tried going down a size, but it doesn't cover my nail. You know what I mean? There's like actually some of my fingernails sticking out of the side of it. Okay, I'll, I'll look after the live brand. Do you send it on Instagram? I'm not surprised I didn't get it because Instagram is awful. I don't, Michelle has sent me pictures, um, messages. I get nothing from her, nothing. So now she just texts me everything. Guys, has anybody heard from Chastity? I mean, I know she always, like, comes and goes, but she's been going a lot more lately. How does it look, Brandis? Do you like it? So I'm just shaping my nails into stilettos. Obviously, you guys all know that, but just in case anybody else. These jelly tips are from Lexi Nail. They are the short stiletto tips, and they come in 12 different sizes, so I really like that about her tips. They're 20 bucks a box, and if you use my discount code, then you can get them for $18.50, right? And she has stiletto, she has coffin, she has almond. I just got the medium stilettos from her, but I haven't um, used them yet. I haven't had an opportunity. Like, I got to do it when I'm re replacing a full set and not just a nail. <laughs> what I'm doing here is using the 100 grit side of a file. It's nice and rough, and it works really well at getting... Um, dip powder off of your skin. Let's see if I can get that. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, I'm happy with how everything is looking. This is what we got. I'm just going to quickly go around the cuticles with my ergo file. Guys, what do you think about the stamping? Patty, you haven't seen anything out of her. Oh, you haven't? Yeah, none of us have. I mean, she never goes this long, you know. Hmm. Well, hopefully everything's okay. I'm sure she'll turn up sooner or later. I mean, I got her an ambassador spot at Double Dip, so we're both there. But I haven't seen much out of her in the chat. Oh my God. I have my kitchen windows open and a fly came in, stupid thing. The buzzing is driving me crazy. All right. Okay, let's clean these with alcohol. Did you guys give me any, uh... You tired of the mess? Oh, okay, Miranda, she did. Let's leave the alcohol out. We're gonna need it. Okay, so that's what we got. I'm just gonna use this in my plate. I don't even know which one I'm using, you guys. You didn't tell me. So we can do the green leaves. All right, let's. So, do we want to do these green leaves right here, you guys? See them? Or, how about, like, the double V French? Oh, no, Patty, you did. You guys don't tell me jack shit. <laughs> Fine, I decide on my own. Let's try the double V French here. Or we could even do the fancier one. Let's try the fancy one. So this is Maniology. Uh, the color is called Evergreen, I believe. It came with a purple too, but the purple was part of a set. The purple was so thick I had to throw it away. It was unusable. Get a stamper. Mm. 
Um, that doesn't look like there's enough green in there. Hold on. Put more, more. All right, let's see. Oh, I only picked up part of it. Let's try again. This brush is like super narrow. That green is not filled in all the way. All right, let's try that. I went a lot lighter when I pressed down. <sighs> no, nope, I only picked up part of it. Okay. Come on here. So wet, I can see it. All right, let's try the one next to it since the first one's being a pain in my butt. Fingers crossed. Oh my god, nope. <sighs> All right. Again. It's weird because the black is not, I mean, the green is not even, it's lighter in spots. I'm trying to go as gently as gentle as I can, but I need it to pick up just the image and nothing extra. <laughs> that picked up nothing. What the heck? No, nothing. Picked up the paint off of here. All right. Now, I've used this plate before. <laughs> Not this image, but I have used this plate before. Paper towels. Let's see. I'm so mad. Let me see what's on this other French plate, which I don't even understand how to use this one. It's so narrow.
I have no idea how you are supposed to use these, what they're supposed to be. All right, let's try this one more time. If it doesn't work, we'll switch to the fall plate. The leaves. Picked up half of each image. Hmm. Makes me want to cry. <clears throat> what nail did you? Was it one with the Bella Vina lamp? Damn it. I wonder if this polish is like too thick or something. See if I can pick up both images. Nope. <sighs> what the heck, you guys? It's not working. I was all excited about this green. Hopefully it works on this plate. All right. Those will probably be cute too. Oh, I kind of like these even more. Yeah, I'm going to use that instead. See if it works on these. If not, then I'm going to be convinced it's the polish. All right, I picked up. There's a lot I got to get rid of, though. All right. Okay. Now I need to fix a little spot. There's like a split. Damn it. Oh. No, oh, another one of my lead. No, I gotta redo it. It's not good enough. Sorry. At least it picked up though, so we should be able to get a good transfer. Oh god, I gotta hit my V. Stress levels going up. Oh, <sighs> 
glad you didn't answer me about your nail. Sorry, this is taking so long. See how this is going to work. So let me show you the image I'm getting. See the leaves, you guys? The green? They're just kind of like branches with like... I don't know. I think it'll look nice. Didn't pick up. God damn it. Am I doing something wrong? Stressing. I'm going to try again. No. So you definitely need patience with stamping, but usually I don't have so many issues with uh, images transferring. I usually get it on the first or second try, but a lot of times part of the image will transfer and not the whole image. Um, so that, you know, I mean, it's it makes it pretty much worthless. You got to redo it. Fingers crossed here. <sighs> Got some of it, but not all of it. Let me hold this. Dry. All right, let's do this again. Props are even attempting. I don't usually have these issues. <laughs> no, but when I first tried it, I couldn't even get the image to transfer at all, even pick up on the image. You know what I mean? But I thought I had it all figured out, you know. All right, I got a good amount. Let's see if we can work with this. I need a lint roller or something. There we go. Okay. There's a couple spots that don't belong on there. All right. I don't have everything, but I'm, I like kind of don't even care at this point. Ah, I can't use that image. It's not going to look good. It's not going to look good. I'm going to change it. I guess I'll go with that first image. Because now when I'm looking, like, a whole bunch of stems are not there on my image. You're not even going to be able to tell what it is if I leave it like that. So, let's go with what I was originally going to go with. Let's see if this works. Please work. 
They almost look like palm fronds or like um what are those plants called? I think it begins with an F. Can't think of what it's called. They grow in the wild a lot. Got it. All right. There we go. Should have just did that right in the be from the beginning. <laughs> okay, cute. Finally. So I do, I have the no smudge or whatever it's called, top coat from Maniology. I've never used it, you guys. Maybe we'll give it a shot. Let me find it. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Maniology smudge free top coat. So do you have to wait a certain amount of time? You just put it on. Got a little green on there. All right, so I guess I'll just leave this on and then I'll activate and top coat the other nails. We'll see how long it takes to dry. <laughs> Let's see what time is it now. Quarter one. Yeah. This is what we are looking like. So I guess it's not the perfect green match, but it's still pretty close. Let's activate the other nails. They're going to look so pretty once they're top coated. What a gorgeous glitter. The whole fall collection is beautiful and like the glitters all pair with um, the solids and everything, you know, and most of the glitters you can pair with more than one solid because they're sneaky, shifty glitters that might look like one color, but you look and there's like at least three colors in there. I was kind of bummed about this. I was really wanting to do the French. The amount of stamping supplies you have does not match the amount of stamping you do. Yeah, I have a ton of, I have a, well, I don't want to say a ton, but I have a lot of stamping supplies. I would say at least 50 different stamping plates. I have a set of stamping polishes from Beauté, and then I have maybe five or six stamping polishes from Maniology. But I need more of a variety of stamping polishes. I just kind of got the basics, you know. Stamping was one of the first nail art things I got into that I thought was um, cool, you know. 
I think I saw the maniology free stamping kit, you know, and that's how I first got into it. But yeah, I couldn't get even get the Im images to pick up. If you guys didn't notice, but um, yesterday I also did it. I uh, skip buffing, <laughs> and I skip buffing this time too. Hey, I also yesterday during the live I said that when I was born, there were no car seats weren't in exist. I mean, I said seatbelts were not in existence, but that wasn't true. They had seatbelts. What I meant to say was car seats for babies were not in existence. So when my mother took me home from the hospital, she just held me on her lap and didn't wear a seatbelt. Can you imagine just holding a newborn in your lap? No car seats. <laughs> okay, let's talk code our nails now. Look good. Give us a second and then we'll do our second layer. This is already starting to dry. Fran wants, when I do her nails tomorrow, she picked Puya or Puya and Rainbow um, Pyrite for her mani. So Puya is the uh, teal and Rainbow Pyrite is the uh, teal and copper looking glitter. Oh, really? See, that's not what my mother told me. She told me they didn't have them. But they weren't mandated. Did you go home in one, Tara? <laughs> Guys, I got a pimple right under my nose. It's tiny, but weird. I don't really get pimples anymore. I got some fine glitters up in here on my uh, nails. <laughs> Both of my solid green nails. Oh, well. Oh, well. This is what they look like. You see the design on the ring finger? Can you tell what it is? <laughs> Hopefully in photos. The photos should be better. This might work, Tara, as a nail face sleeve with these colors at the top. Otherwise, I gotta do black or white or something. I don't really have any nude ones. Just nothing new. Old. I have like this this nude glove. Oh, plus we got this one with the green. I 
I just gotta wait for them to dry. I don't want any light to get on them. I got this. I got black too. All right, we're dry. I'm gonna use my Meditate cuticle oil again. Thank you, Janet. I know, right? I've been doing all Halloween too, Brandis. That's like all I've wanted to do. But yeah, we're still in September, but plan on for me, I plan on doing if I if I can help it, I plan on doing Halloween Mandy's every month, every day in October. <laughs> Halloween heavy at the moment, yeah. Janet, you gonna order some of these dips? This is I did this Manny last night, you guys. It's color my world dips. I bought the um this dip as one of the ones I bought. I bought some fall dips from her. It's called Leaf Pile, I believe. It's gorgeous. And I paired it with a dip called Mistletoe. It's a shimmer, olive green. I haven't taken pictures of it yet, though. So I'm going to do that as well. Oh, this smells so good. Here's our Manny. Let's see how this one looks. We got that option. This one, the green's a little off though. What do you guys think? <laughs> hmm. Do that one. All right, you guys. I ask you what I should stamp. Nobody tells me. I ask what nail fee sleeve I should use. Nobody tells me. I'm just forced to decide on my own. I can do the nude one. Or hell, I can just take my sweater and do this. <laughs> I haven't seen them. Um, you don't understand. My heart is broken over seeing designer dips. So I try not to look at any of her stuff. <laughs> if I don't see it, I don't want it. I think I'm going to use this one. I think that's a pretty decent match. Red. I have to organize my nail fee sleeves. Okay, ring.
Too big. Okay. Actually, I'm only going to use one ring. Okay, finished Manu, ladies. Fix my rings. All right. So we use basalt peridot, that's the glitter, and then manzanella olive is this amazing green that you need. This whole collection is beautiful, um, and it's so uh, versatile. You know, um, there's so many colors that can be paired with it. Not just the one she released, too. That's what I love about Luxie. Like, any day, I can just go in and pick colors that weren't in a collection together, you know? But I can make a beautiful Manny with two or three dips, you know? So, I love that. She's got everything, you know? And then, um, oh, the nude is uh, Afterglow from Rebel Nail. Um stamping i used evergreen from maniology you can save there with code tara 10 by the way and that you can save a luxie with code tara 15. thank you so much for being here all of you you know how much i appreciate you i hope you guys all have a good day oh the nude one you like that janet yeah it glows too Oh, we're all indecisive today. Why, do you guys smoke pot too? Before the live? <laughs> That's my excuse. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you tomorrow for TGIF Friday. My favorite day of the week. Woo. Love you guys. Bye.